Hi, I'm Steve Adubato. Normally one-on-one, -on -one, we have one-on-two -on -two today. We are pleased to welcome two very special guests. Uh, well, first, we have Albert Kelly, who is the mayor of the great city of Bridgeton, New Jersey, and Melissa Helmbrecht, who is the executive director of CASA of Cumberland, Gloucester, and Salem counties. And Melissa, CASA stands for? Court Appointed Special Advocates. Well, this is a terrific segment. One of those really positive. I hate to say feel good, but it does feel good to talk about this. Our friends at the uh, Give Something Back Foundation told us about the initiative um, that helps increase college graduation rates for uh, foster youth, if you will. Mm -hmm. Set this up for us. Who sure. are these children? Why is it so important? Um, foster youth have some of the lowest college graduation rates of any part of the population in our country. Um, about 3% of foster youth, only about 3% ever graduate from college. Mm. And more than half end up homeless or incarcerated within two years of aging out of the system. So um, providing on-ramps to attaining a college education without accumulating debt is a game changer. So mentoring them, coaching them, getting them ready, Mr. Mayor, is so important. Describe Bridgeton for those who don't know it and why its population and the demographic changes going on are so important there. Well, Bridgeton is uh, an urban area in southern New Jersey surrounded by farmland. Mm. And so uh, we're a town that's economically challenged because uh, we used to be an industrial powerhouse back in the day. Many of those businesses have left and uh, closed up or moved south. And so it has left many of our citizens struggling. And so by not having the economic background and foundation, many of our students, college would not be a, a reality for them. And so we're, I'm very grateful to Bob Carr and the Give Something Back Foundation. Yeah, so the Give Something Back Foundation is so interesting. Is, is we, I'm going to set this up because there are 30 students, if I'm not mistaken, here. 53. Well, okay, but what we're about to see is some video, sure. if I'm not mistaken, of some students who are being surprised because they are receiving scholarships, if I'm not mistaken, four-year scholarships. Correct. To go to college. And these are the children we're talking about right now yes. from the community. From mm -hmm. the community. They're not expecting this. No. This is the announcement. Does it need any more of a setup? I don't think so. These are special kids, talented kids, mm -hmm. kids who deserve an opportunity. It speaks for itself. You're going to college for free. You're going to college for free. I remember this moment. Tell you all of you were here for me. Thank you so much for everything. It was an emotional day. Um, Describe it. They didn't know that it was coming, so uh, all they knew is that uh, someone was coming to visit with them. Someone was coming to visit. The Give Something Back Foundation. They did, they didn't, we didn't provide any setup. We wanted it to be a complete surprise. And so uh, Kelly Dunn, the executive director, came in. Yeah. And she gave the kids the news. And at first, they, they weren't processing it. It took them a little while to process it. But every single um, student stood up overwhelmed, talked about how it was a life-changing moment. Students talked about how they were going to be the first in their um, family's history to go to college, how um, their parents, some are incarcerated, some are um, you know, struggling with drug addiction, and they just couldn't wait to tell their parents that they were going to break the cycle and that they were going to be successful. It was an extraordinary moment, probably one of the best moments my life just to be there and witness that and you know we don't all get to experience winning the lottery but I think that that's probably a similar experience that happens once in like maybe a thousand lifetimes. Mayor. Uh, I, I happen to be at the announcement for the first 23 students yeah and just like Melissa said it was a similar you're right in a room outcome I was not aware originally so I was uh, dumbfounded also that each student who applied to the Give Something Back Foundation, the, uh, they decided to award a scholarship to every student who applied. Four years. Four years. They keep the grades up. 
got to keep a B average. And they, the good thing about the foundation is they work with mentors who mentor the kids so that they have a greater likelihood of keeping that B so they can su succeed. Now, you have succeeded. You are the mayor. You've overcome some incredible challenges. What do you see for these kids? I see a, a bright future. I see them. See, I know some of the kids personally. Mm. And small community. Small community of 25,000 plus. And um, I worked with some of the kids this summer. They are, their fa parents are migrant workers and they work on the farms. And so it gives the students a, a great future. And my hope as mayor is that some of the students will return back to Bridgeton and give something back in that way, in their own way also, so that we can enrich the community mm -hmm. and keep the, keep the ball rolling and keep the, uh, break the cycle. Yeah, speaking about the cycle, this is investing not just in these young people, this is investing in the community, how so? Well, we have a community with the highest rates of child abuse and neglect in the, in the state. Um, and for the 30 young people who Bob decided to uh, rescue, they are going to break the cycle. They're going to be leaders. And, um, it, you know, what working with the kids, we know what they're going to do and the contribution that they're going to make. And I also think it just gives the whole community hope. The look on their <clears throat> parents' faces when they found out. Um, all of the folks just, you know, going anywhere in the community, people are talking about it. This is a big deal in town. It's a huge deal. Big, t big deal in town. What are people saying? As you said, uh, it's a small town. And it's, it, it's about pride. Because perhaps not my student, my, my child, uh, receive a scholarship, but my neighbor's child received a scholarship. Mm. And so somebody I know. Yeah, somebody I know. And so it empowers and gives the whole community a sense of pride that small communities like such as Bridgeton have not been overlooked. Someone is investing in our community and making a difference. And so it's it's a game changer. Let me ask you about this uh, before I let you out of here. Um, as a student of leadership, both of you experience it, see it. These are going to be future leaders, hopefully, and, mm -hmm. you know, down the road. What's the biggest leadership lesson you have learned in all this? The biggest leadership lesson um, that I've learned in all of this is that no one gets there alone, right? Every single person that has ever become a leader did so because someone like Bob Carr or a mentor or a coach or a teacher saw something mm and decided to invest um, and go the distance. There are no throwaway kids. Everyone has a talent, everyone has the ability. It, it's up to us as leaders, as adults, That's to right. help give them the necessary tools so that they can enrich their lives. And we have to give, yeah. get involved, get, get dirty and get involved. We can't uh, lead from the front. Sometimes we need to lead from the back and help yeah. push. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you come back and give us an update. Okay. Stay with us. We'll be right back. That was great. It was really great. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Gary's Wine and Marketplace, Wells Fargo, Qualcare Inc., and JIT. New Jersey Sharing Network, the law firm of Gibbons PC, and by Verizon. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.